Hey guys, welcome back to Double Oil Restorations. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I want to invite you to check out the playlist on my 1972 Camaro that I call Project Overkill. We're right in the middle of doing a full-blown restoration right here on YouTube. I also want to invite you to subscribe and follow along as we build this car. In this video, I wanted to compare two passenger side door skins. One is a GM NOS door skin, which stands for new old stock. And one is a reproduction door skin that I've actually had here in the garage for several years as well. The reproduction door skin is from AMD, but it's been a long time since I purchased it. And to be honest with you, I don't know if it's actually their door skin or an X part or actually what it is. It doesn't have any stickers on it. For all practical purposes, we're just going to call it a reproduction or aftermarket door skin. So let's take a look at it. Okay guys, so right off the bat, I've set these on the floor because my stands are just a little bit different. And when you set them on the stands, they look like they're different heights. But actually, when you set them on the floor, you can see that the peak of both skins are about the same and I just wanted to show you that on camera before I showed it to you with them on the stands so just at a first glance with them sitting side by side they actually look identical you really don't see a lot of difference so let me get them on the stands and let's take a closer look okay so I've got both passenger side door skins sitting on the stands and like I said the stands are different and no matter how I've tried to adjust them, they're just always going to be just a little bit different height. So I wanted to show them to you on the floor first. Because you can see on this one right here that looks like it has a little bit more of a peak than the one beside of it. And I just wanted to get that clarification out of the way. So the one here in front of the window on the left side is our GM door skin. And the one on the right side is our aftermarket door skin. GM used these door skins from 1970 all the way to 81. And you've got one main body line that runs through the middle. And then you've got a lower body line that's roughly about two and a half inches from the bottom. So the first thing I did was I compared the length of the main body lines and I also compared the length of the lower body lines. I just happened to have three more of these doors in the garage. This is a borrowed door from Project Silver Bullet, driver side obviously. We have the original passenger side for Project Overkill. And we also have Silver Bullet's passenger side door as a reference. So after comparing all of these doors, body lines, as far as length wise, basically have come up with the length of this main body line is 57 and 3 sixteenths of an inch. And that is consistent on each door that I've measured, every single one of them. There was no difference between the NOS door skin versus the reproduction. Now when I got to the lower body line, there was a little bit of a difference. Not much, but there was some difference. The original door on overkill measured 51 inches and 13 sixteenths. And the NOS one was 51 inches and 15 sixteenths which was an eighth of an inch difference and the reproduction door skin from the body line to the end 52 inches which was 3 sixteenths of an inch difference now I checked silver bullets doors and they all were 51 and 13 sixteenths and there was 51 and 7 eighths, which was even a 16th difference. So, 
I'm not too concerned about that measurement because it is on an angle and it's probably going to shorten up just a little bit once you fold it over. So it was within, it was within an eighth of an inch on the NOS door skin and it was within, uh, it was three sixteenths of an inch on the reproduction. And like I said, that, that's running at an angle and I believe it will close up once it's folded over. That's gonna to have to be determined, but I'm not too concerned about that at this point. So overall, the first look of these things is, is really good. When I compare the door handle insert and the lock mechanism stamping, they're both the same. So that's good. There's no differences there. One area that did feel a little different to me just with the hand was this area right here as it come up to the top of the door skin. And just thought we'd just take a profile of this and compare it to those two that's over there. And I'm just using one of these plastic profile gauges. So let's go over there to the uh, two door skins that we're looking at and take a look. Okay, this is the NOS door skin. This is our gauge. And you can see that it's really close. There's just a hint of daylight right in this area. I mean, it's, it's really close. So let's step over here, take a look at the reproduction. Now this metal flange is bent a little bit right here and you're gonna have that. It's just some hammer and dolly work to straighten it back up. It's pretty much off. Not by a lot, but it is off. I'm gonna to try to hold the camera with one hand and then shoot this on the other hand. And you can see right there, there's daylight there at the top edge and there's daylight right there along the bottom of the gauge. So there is just a little bit of a difference right there, but that is kind of an aggravating spot on these cars because the fender comes in right there and it's got, they've got the contour the same. And this can all be worked with a hammer and dolly once it's on the frame. And usually, on all this sheet metal, you're going to wind up working the door and the fender to match. Still yet, that's not bad. I mean, it's close. It's not as close as the NOS right out of the box, but it is workable. So real quick, while we're talking about passenger doors, I just want to take the gauge and put it up against Project Silver Bullet's door. And you can see right there, that is really close. I can still see just a hint of daylight, but not much at all. And it's, it's actually really, really close. So I feel pretty good about this as a baseline since it matches both original doors on Overkill and Silver Bullet. Okay guys, so we've covered some of the basics. We've determined that the body lines are pretty much the same length. Pretty much the crown of the panel is pretty close with the exception of this one corner, but that's an area that you usually have to work anyway. We've determined that the stamping for the door handle is right and the stamping for the lock cylinder is right as well. I've been back and forth measuring between those and every measurement that I take is right on the money. So there's no problem there. Now, what I'd like to do is show you some of the obvious differences. They're not major, but they are something to be aware of. Okay, YouTube, we're looking at the flange on the NOS panel, and it is roughly a half an inch. These are actually 3 16 inch holes that I've drilled in this flange for plug welding. And at first I thought that maybe that was a little short, but you'll see here when we switch over to the uh, reproduction door skin that 
the reproduction is actually a little shorter than the NOS. Now one other thing that I'd like to point out on all the NOS door skins that I've seen, the ones I've taken off of cars, they have this little extended area right here on the front of the door skin. Not really sure why, but it's there. And I've seen that folded over on the inside of doors as well. So just a little quick note there. So now I'm looking at the flange on the reproduction door skin. And like I said, it is right at about 3 8 of an inch. So it's a little bit shorter than the NOS. Something else I want you to notice on the front of the flange of the NOS panel is just how crisp of a fold that we have here. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. It's the same on the back of the door. It's just a pretty sharp 90 there. If we come back over here to the reproduction door, you can see it's kind of a lazy bend, kind of a lazy rolled edge there. It's just not as not as crisp as the NOS panel. And this is the same on the front and the back of the reproduction. It's just more of a lazy bend. Two other things that I want to point out. We've looked at the front flange, we've looked at the rear flange. Now I want to show you the bottom flange. We'll start with the reproduction. You can plainly see right here that the flange is actually setting outward of the skin. This is your flange right here. Now when we look over here at the NOS piece, you can tell we've got a sharp edge all the way down which is actually going to be the bottom of the door. And when we look at our flange, you can see how it's folded all the way over. And it's ready to fold around the door frame. Versus on the reproduction, this is going to have to be bent basically from its current state all the way to about right there just to be able to match what you've got here on the NOS panel before you can even begin to think about folding it all the way over. Let's turn it over. Okay, we're looking at our NOS piece and you can see this bottom flange and you can see the angle that the metal has been bent ready for installation. Last thing I want to show you is this folded edge on the top. You can see how it's just really folded all the way up against the skin. This skin just gets basically clamped up to the frame and gets welded. You can see all the way down how nice and flat that is. I have added this mirror bracket and I have plug welded it from the back side here versus here on the reproduction you can see this still needs a little bit of work right through here actually it's a pretty good gap right through there all the way down but that is the comparison between an NOS door skin and a reproduction door skin. So anyway guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was helpful to the people that was out there that's building a 70 to 81 Camaro second gen and you're trying to decide whether it's worth the extra money to try to find an NOS door skin or whether you can go ahead and uh, purchase a reproduction. 
I also hope it's helpful if there's anybody that's in the market for an NOS door skin and they want to be able to try to spot one right out, right out of the box even if it's not labeled or doesn't have the original box without any packaging or without any stickers on it. Some things you can look for to tell you whether or not it is a true NOS panel. And from just what I'm seeing, I don't really see a big major difference. So guys, I hope that helps. And when I have a little bit more progress on the Camaro, I'll be back online. Thank you guys.